Parker, look what got posted on the bulletin board. It's a flyer for a contest to be the Summer Moose Queen. Cool. Wait, is the queen a moose or a human? What a ridiculous question. Is what I would say if we were in a moose rump. <laughs> uh, human, except for one year. Whew, but she was quite the looker. Wow, was not expecting her to be in heels. <laughs> Anyway, apparently the greater Moostropolitan area selects a moose queen every summer. Sounds like you want to compete. I thought you left the pageant life behind. I did, but the winner receives money for their favorite charity. I could finally buy the lake cleaning machine I've been saving up for. Hold on. This flyer says you can't compete unless you're at least 16. Or four in moose years. <laughs> what? How dare you? I am very mature for my age, you meanie tangerine. Look, maybe we could find someone over 16 to compete and agree to donate the winnings to the lake. Maybe, but where would we find someone with the confidence and competitive spirit to actually win? Ha! You lost, Marvin. Call me your majesty because I am the queen. <laughs> Why are you guys looking at me like that? Just picturing you in an antler tiara. Would you be interested in? No. But I was just going to ask you to enter the Summer Moose Queen competition. Oh, well, in that case, heck no. Did I mention the big cash prize? How big of a cash prize? A giant cash prize that you will give to me. Oh, so close. Come on, Ava. It's to finally buy the machine that can vacuum up all the trash in the lake. I don't know. I'm not really a pageant kind of girl. I usually avoid anything that involves strutting or sparkling or painting my teeth. You don't paint your teeth. See, this is exactly why I'm not the right girl for this. <laughs> Please! It's for a good cause, and you know how important this is to me? Fine, I'll do it. But I don't have to dress up like a moose, do I? Don't be silly! You just may have to compete against one. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> There are three segments of the Summer Moose Queen competition. Talent, question and answer, and evening wear. I wear clothes in the evening all the time. Check. <laughs> Let's practice the question and answer portion. Parker is going to be our judge. Don't worry, I'm tough but fair. If you couldn't tell by my judge's monocle. Couldn't. <laughs> if you were an ice cream flavor, which would you be? Well, that's a dumb question. <laughs> no problem. Sir, no crown for you. Okay, I'm gonna need you to bring it down to a 10. That's my bad. My sister used to be in pageants. I always wanted to join in and wear a monocle. I'm living two dreams right now. Well, this is my nightmare. How am I supposed to know what ice cream flavor I am? You just need to say some nonsense that you think the judges want to hear. Like, I feel like I'm Rocky Road because my life has been a Rocky Road but I persevered and now enjoy savoring every last bite of existence. Save the whales. Thank you. Again, how did the moose do this? OK, let's try another question. Ava, what would you do to make the world a better place? Round up all the buttheads and launch them into outer space, boom! Uh... Oh, come on, that was a great answer. Don't be so judgy. Kind of my job, not hitting this buzzer for fun. Okay, yes, I am. Ava, focus. If you only had one wish, what would it be? Is my wish allowed to be about the annoying buzzer? Do it. I dare you. <laughs> okay, let's work on the talent portion instead. Sorry, it was an accident. My hand slipped. That wasn't said the world! Kiki Wanda, Kiki Wanda, Kiki Wanda, Kiki Wanda.